subscribe to my channel if you would like to see how I created this glitter smoky eye look, just keep watching. First step I'm using is the MAC Paint to Leave Paint Pot just to give my eyelid a prime and a base for the eyeshadow to stick to and to set the uh, primer into place I'm using Ben Knight Banana Powder. My first transitional shade I'm using in the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsession which is a matte orange eyeshadow as my transition color and I do like to layer it like two or three times just to give me a better payoff. To deepen up the crease area, again, I'm going back in with a rustic brown matte eyeshadow just to deepen up the crease area only. And again, layering it like two or three times. And to deepen it up a little bit more, I'm using these two matte brown eyeshadow on the outer corner area and halfway in. and just taking patting motion just to build up the intensity of the matte eyeshadows. To deepen up the outer corner area, I'm using the Anastasia uh, Prism Palette Obsidian, which is a matte black eyeshadow for the outer corner area only. And pretty much I'm just taking the brush, patting the matte black eyeshadow in the outer corner and sweeping it halfway in. When using a matte black eyeshadow, a little goes a long way. And I'm just taking a fluffy brush just to blend out the eyeshadow to remove any harsh lines. The next eyeshadow palette I'm using is the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsession Palette, and I'm taking this gold champagne metallic eyeshadow on the lid area and halfway in kind of giving me a slightly a cut crease uh, effect this eyeshadow right now the look is already beautiful by itself so if you want to stop here that's fine but this eyeshadow will be used as a base for the glitter And pretty much I'm just repeating the same step. For the glitter, I'm using the Stella Wonderlust, which is a pink and gold eyeshadow. I mean glitter. And it just depends on how you look at it. You can get a pink or you can get a gold. And I'm just putting it on the lid area where I place the gold eyeshadow and just taking a flat brush just to give me a uh, defined crease. Just cleaning up the edges. And going back into the Topaz uh, eyeshadow palette, I'm using a bronzy uh, eyeshadow metallic and I'm just going in between the glitter and the black uh, eyeshadow just to clean up any uh, demarcations between the glitter and the black eyeshadow. And just going back in with the dark brown matte eyeshadow just cleaning up the edges. Now if you guys notice the difference between the video going forward somehow my computer deleted the first footage of this eye look so I had to go back and recreate it so the only thing that I did different on the next clip is uh, I didn't add the bronzy matte eyeshadow And just sweeping that matte brown eyeshadow into that bronzy metallic uh, eyeshadow just to clean up any, again, harsh lines. For bronze, I'm using a new bronzer, the Bobbi Brown uh, Bronzing Powder in the shade D. And when contouring my nose, I'm using the Bobbi Brown uh, Bronzer Palette and I'm taking it all the way up to my eyebrow area to give me more of a snatch nose. For 
for a blush, I'm using MAC Sweetest Cocoa, which is a nude uh, brownie uh, blush color. For a highlighter, I'm using Dose of Color, Desi and Katie Chasing the Sun. This is more of a champagne gold uh, highlighter. And I'm just taking it on my, applying it on my forehead area and taking my finger and just applying it in the middle of my nose area to give me more of a defined nose. For liner, I'm using Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Pencil in Perversion, which is a matte black uh, eyeliner pencil. For mascara, I'm using MAC Extended Play Giggle Black Mascara. To line my lips, I'm using ColourPop BF3, which is a medium brown uh, lip pencil. The two liquid lipsticks I'm using today is the Kat Von D. The first color I'm adding is Broken Arrow, which is a nude brown uh, color. And for the center of the lips, I'm applying Love Wig, which is a pinky nude brown uh, liquid lipstick. Okay, and to set everything into place, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And guys, this completes the look. If you like what you're seeing today, make sure you hit the notification and give this video two thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.